Hello everybody, so if you've been watching a few of my clips, you've already seen this planter of Mammalaria. These were 500 seeds of generic bully, I think that's how you pronounce it. Mammalaria bully. I like, I chose this one because they were very cheap considering it was 500 seeds and the reason I mass sell is since there's going to be a lot of variation genetically between each one there's always a chance for mutation and on top of that I like to stress with light, drought, sun, heat, cold, everything and there's always like a few interesting looking ones however I didn't exactly split the seedlings and I just randomly stabbed them so I can't really tell which ones I treated to induce crescent or the multi-headed feature a few of them like this one it's pretty evident that there is already some effect here's another one kind of hard to see and they have dichotomous I don't know I don't actually have the word in front of me so I can't try reading it but they don't have the split growth so why am I speaking on this subject again it's another one since for something to be like kind of scientific you would have to have a control so that you can measure it according to untreated seedlings and in this planter besides not having separate controls I already treated quote unquote treated I just I stabbed the apex on most of them some have different growth others don't And since I can't really know which ones I treated, I'm going to select a few that look like they have normal growth. And I'm going to attempt a new stressor. And that stressor is fire. Why fire? Well, in nature, due to drought and other human conditions there are wildfires normally and in some of those locations there are cacti and the heat if it doesn't kill them will actually cause mutations in the DNA I tried researching scientific papers on this and most only speak about the mortality rate or actually like trying to control it they try to burn it themselves with control fires and others are just about wildfires and the survival rate of the native cacti but there's another interesting paper talking about the potential evolutionary trait of fire plants and how they could actually be evolutionary since there were there will be damage to the seedling they actually use adult plants I'm just getting seedlings but the general idea is if the plant survives 
the damage from the fire, the regrowth, or even the new growth or continuous growth might have altered DNA, which may be interesting visually or just in the survival sense. So, before filming this, I actually did scorch two seedlings in this planter so far. Nothing really special, but again, we're in fall here, and I think it's only been a week, if that. Okay, and side note, these will probably all die from fire treatment. Even if they don't die from the fire itself, they will be weakened, and any mites or bacteria will take advantage of their weakened state. So if you want to try it yourself, just know that you'll likely just kill your seedlings. I'm doing it here so that everyone can follow and see the results. Okay, so I'm going to select maybe 10 seedlings that look like they have normal growth. And I'm just gonna burn them. No timer, no no nothing really. I'm just gonna try to burn this the the seedlings maybe for a minute or less, probably less. I'll try a few little different durations of time. And we'll just go from there and I'll post updates either when they die or with the monthly update, I'll try commenting on them. Okay, so here we go. So it's interesting that the spines are actually quite flammable. And this actually converts to different species as well and not just the mammalaria. As you can see the soil is still pretty wet from me watering about a week ago which may also bring other more depths since we have a cold front and we'll be reaching almost zero freezing four nights in a row so just stress upon stress upon stress okay here that's one this one looks normal let's try to get good lighting one was maybe 20 seconds maybe it's two these two look alright Just trying to get a close up. Four.
Okay, so going back to the scientific paper that I'll try to link if I find it again. The fire is a potential mutagen. There's three possible reasons. It'd be damaged directly. It'd be the possible chemicals from the flame or fire. And the other possible reason would be the toxins from the burnt material to the soil. In this case, it wouldn't be, it might be the, the most likely mutagen if something happens would be the actual DNA damage from the fire itself. Okay, so that's one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, let's choose these ten. Okay, I'm actually not going to choose these because they're too close to the plastic, and I actually don't want to burn the plastic. Okay, so. I'm actually not sure. Yeah, that wasn't there before. So there's like a red secretion. Most definitely from the fire damage. I'm not sure if that's a natural reaction or not. Since it's actually the first time. Seeing that. It's a very pink liquid. And actually looks pretty interesting. Okay, so that's six. Plus the other two that I already burnt. Let's make it eight. Choose two more. Let's do this one. Seems pretty mature. Less compact spine growth, so just a different phenotype, I guess. Let's try. Okay, so I tried burning just this one, but the heat would actually reach the other two soothings next to it. So, let's stop here. There's might a slight burning of the spines on the proximity seedlings okay now let's go over this is the mammillaria batch which I will mainly do the experiments on if there's any degree of success I will reattempt this with a more controlled setting using using those lophophora and like I said before this, I wasn't sure if I was going to share this or not, but decided I will. I also burnt two Trichocerus seedlings. Most likely, I think they were, I mean, there can only be Pacano or Burgessi. I think they were Burgessi. And the spines are actually quite fam flammable and they become extremely brittle afterwards. Only the those closest to the actual body be are still rigid. And like a, a breeze, a strong wind would just blow these away. I'm just touching it now. This was like the other one, maybe 
a week ago, maybe even less, I'm not really sure. I'll try to find the video since I recorded it. Here's another one that I also burnt. And these were not all damaged with the apex like these. See the new interesting grills? It didn't pop, but it does like a, a ripply similar to some cultivars. This one did the ripley and it's just four now. I mean originally it was like eight I think. Okay, now let's burn this one, just more, since I have less triclosiris to experiment with, I'll just do one more, let's get a zoom, try to get a nice image. What's interesting is that I can't really burn the apex since the spines actually seem to keep protecting it. Ah oh, shit, I burnt my finger a little bit. The metal tip is actually getting overheated. Okay, let's burn a little more. Yeah, that's pretty cool. It kind of looks like uh, when you heat a copper wire or something, when you see those electricity films or clips, keeps protecting it. Pretty cool. And yeah, there's three triple series that were burnt. The rest are either normal. This one was grafted as tiny seedlings. I'm pretty sure the bottom one is not Burgessy like the taller one. Pretty sure it was a Pacanoi and a Burgessy. And they were grafted really tiny. This one is a pup and not a graft. And these are not clusters, they're just groupings of different seedlings. This one is maybe a graft also, since I usually do at least two of each experiment. When I repub this, I'll try to do a little commentary on that. There's a dried up seedling. There's another one. Here's a seedling that might be a mutant or just a little runt. It has not grown yet. These were sown December 27th, I believe. These seeds were gifted from a buddy on Share the Seeds forum. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I think his name is Sally from the UK. Very generous guy, very talented grower himself. And here's one more graft. Doing that side and pill, nothing special. It's actually not worth it for fast growers like this. And yeah. The new series update I'll be doing is fire damage. I just remembered I also wanted to
to experiment on these rats since they'll have faster growth. You'll see results quicker. These stalks are actually much more flammable than I originally thought. And they burn quickly. The good thing is they don't spread, but the spines keep very interestingly protecting the body but obviously the longer I keep this there will be more heat damage and most likely the apex will be excessively damaged so it will likely just pop and I kind of charred the side of this graft and I forgot to actually film it so since I don't like astrophytum with large spines despite me wanting seeds so I can do more experiments I'm actually gonna burn this graft so here we go These spines are not burning as quickly as the others, but like the others, the apex new growth or fluff is not burning, similarly to the older growth, which burns white rapidly and is charred. pretty ugly looking. This one also has a bit more of an odor to the burn. Not necessarily bad but definitely you could smell a charred smell. Just try burning the apex one more time. Yep, new growth barely burns. I don't want to overdo it and cook it, but there is definitely enough damage. Okay. Alright, just so I have like a bit, a little disclaimer kind of. I'm not suggesting random damaging of cacti or plants in general. The experiments I do have some, some minimal but some scientific backing that it might work. I'm not telling you to just randomly damage plants, especially if they're not your plants. Don't do this to natural populations, and also don't do it to your prized, prized collections. This. Badge. Oh look, another one with that interesting liquid. These seeds were grown in bulk for this specific purpose.